Mariah, you the GOAT, boy. RT, you good, bro? So what he's what he trying to tell you is that God has a special people, a chosen people. That's y'all out here. How you doing, bro? What's your name? Deontay. Deontay? What we're trying to do is teach our people who they are and why we in the conditions we're in right there. Give me all uh, Lamentations 2 and 5. So we're just not, he read some curses to y'all, right? Some bad things that happen to our people. Because God says, this is my special people. They should know better. But since they don't, since they're not doing what they're supposed to do, I'm going to punish them. And God was mad with us. This is why we in the projects. This is why the Native Americans, this land was taken from them, because that's our brothers. This land was taken from them, and they in the reservations. The Hispanics, that's our brothers too. They, they live in the, some of the worst parts too, and they work hard. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you, we all the same people. And that's what we're trying to teach the people. Give me lamentations. All right, so, so let me ask you a question, bro. Look at this sign right here. Which one is Jesus Christ? Look at these two signs. Jesus Christ. Which one? Point at, point at the one. Yeah, that, one. that one right there? Okay. I'm going to show you something in a second. I'm going to let him get the scripture first and then I'm going to show you something. Read. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 5. Read. The Lord was an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. So the Lord became our enemy. Hey, little bro. What's your name again? DJ. DJ. So remember he went through all those curses. Remember he said a curse is a bad thing, right? Read it again from the top. The Lord was an enemy. He has swallowed up Israel. He said the Lord was our enemy. When we be do bad things, when the Lord say don't kill, and we kill, bad things happen. Like we said about King Von, right? He talked about it, so guess what? Other people did it. So then the Lord said, okay, you want to do that and, and cause my people to do that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have somebody kill you. That's what happened to a lot of our rappers. Uh, what's that dude in Florida? Ex Extension, what was his name? You remember him? Extremely. Yeah, so what happened to him? Right, but what was his music about? The same thing, right? He was talking about the same thing. I, I heard some of his music. Some of the things he talked about, some of the things he, he got into a beef with, uh, with another member. And the dude came after him and killed him. Say, all right, you bad? I'm going to show you who bad. The Lord let that happen because the Lord had a problem with us. Read. Really. He has swallowed up all her palaces. So he said, so the Lord has taken everything away from us. He took all our kingdom, all our palaces away from us and put us in the project. Read. He has destroyed his strongholds. Read. And have increased in the daughter of Judah mourning and lamentation. So guess what? Out here, all our kids, all our people out here crying when somebody gets shot, right? Uh, you see everybody getting turned up out here. Ain't that right, bro? Hey, what's your name again? Deontay. Deontay. So when somebody, like, you see everybody partying out here, right? They do all kind of crazy. You, you hear gunshots around here? You don't hear no gunshots. I know somebody got killed in here recently. You don't hear no gunshots. Do you hear, do you see people gang banging out here? No. You don't see that? So you don't see none of that stuff happening. You don't see women out here, um, men trying to go after women, like trying to sex women up. You must be inside, bro, because I come up here every week and I see it. I see it running. Bad things are going on in our neighborhoods, but God is mad with us. What I had you at? So oh, give me, uh, give me uh, Romans 9 and 22. So God is mad. So I'm going to show you something. So you said this was Jesus Christ. No, give me, uh, I'm sorry, Revelations 1. So you say this is Jesus Christ. I'm going to prove to you that's wrong. We're going to play a game. We're going to play baseball. Now you know already, so I don't want you to answer the question, but I want you to still listen because there's some different information. We're going to play baseball. So what happens when you get three strikes? DeAndre? What happened when you get three strikes in baseball? Um, three point. So if you get, if you get three strikes, what, what happened in baseball? You're out, right? In baseball. All right. Go ahead, read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This means I'm gonna sh it's going to reveal what Jesus Christ looked like. Because you said that was Jesus Christ. We all thought that was Jesus Christ. We're going to prove that's wrong. Read. Verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So which one of these pictures right here 
have white hair and it's woolly out of right. these two pictures which which one of these pictures that picture right there right so wait that's the one you say look like jesus so that's strike one against him right so we playing baseball that's strike one right as white as snow right and his eyes were as a flame of fire so jesus drunk wine so it says eyes is like a flame of fire does he have red eyes what color, wait, what color is fire for one? Huh? What color is fire? Fire. Red. Blue. Red. No. Well, it's blue flame, but it's red, red, right? He says red. Red. All right. Red. So look at these two pictures. Which one have red? And you can answer too, DJ. You can help him out. That's your brother. Which one have red eyes? Yeah. His eyes red? No. no. His eyes red. red. Right. That one right there. It's all right. It's all right. Keep reading. And his feet. Like a to find brass. So you see, I can see DJ's feet right there. So DJ's feet look just like his whole entire body, right? The same color, right? What color is brass? Help him out, DJ. What color is brass? It's a brown color, right? So wait, which one of these people are closer to brown? This man or this man? This man. That man right there. You're exactly right. You going? As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take that and burn it, what color does it become after you burn it? Like say if you put toast in a toaster and you oh. burn it, what color is it? It's black. It's black, right? Right. It's black, exactly right. So which one of these? So which one of these men look black? Look like they burnt in a furnace. DJ, help them out. Which one of these look like they burned in a furnace? That right there. So guess what? That's three strikes against this man. So now DJ, if I say which one look like Jesus Christ out of these pictures, which one would you point at now? This one X and this one. That's right. You're going to ask this one out because he out, right? That one look like more like Jesus Christ. I'm not saying that's exactly him, but he looks just like Jesus Christ. And he looks just like you. That's right. You know what? We come in many different shades. Read uh, Genesis uh, 2 and 7. We come in many different shades of, of colors, of, of black. So even though you might be a little lighter, whatever like that, you still Israel. Right. King David was ruddy like you. That's right. So you, you kind of look like King David, bro. You like a king, you know that, right? Didn't your brother just teach you that you was a king? Well, you gotta believe that. Right. You, and a king, guess what? A king ain't gonna let nobody show them how to do bad things with it. A king is gonna make his own path. He gonna be a leader, right? That's right. So what's your job to be since God said you a king? You gotta be a leader. So if somebody out here trying to tell you to sell drugs, what you gonna do? You're not gonna sell drugs, right? If somebody in here say, hey, let's, let's go hang out or whatever like that, but your mama say, no, you know, you gotta be home at a certain time. What you gonna do? Who you gonna listen to? You gonna listen to your mama, right? That's what God said you gotta listen to your mama. Oh, praise it, bro. I'm glad you, you understand this, bro. You really catching on. And you've been the whole time, too. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of Genesis, chapter two and verse seven. Read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So the first man God created, he made from the dust of the ground. Dust is dirt. What color is dirt? Is brownish black. So when he was creating Adam, he was creating a black man, right? That's the first man. So that proves to you that Adam is black. But he, he goes even more than that. Go, go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. You ain't never heard this in the church. You go to church? Oh, I'll pray to the most high. But you ain't never heard this before, huh? It's some new stuff for you, right? And now, guess what? You're smarter than half the population on the earth because of what you know right now. That means you have the chance to get the kingdom. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Read. Judah mourned, and the gates thereof language. Listen to this, DJ. He's talking about the tribe of Judah. So, would you consider yourself an African American? Is that what they call you, an African American? So, he says, Judah mourned. Judah, look at that sign right there. Judah is the so called African Americans. So, he's talking about you. So, listen to this. Read. Start again, start again for the time. Judah mourning. So Judah is mourning, man, mourning because they're always in slavery. They live in the projects. They live in the worst places on the earth. And they're always getting shot or they're getting beat up or something like something bad is always happening to Judah. Read. And the gates thereof language. Their leaders. Their leaders are dumb dogs. They are black. What color? Black. What color? Black. What color did they say, bro? Black. So Judah, that's what you are. The so-called African American is black. Read. Until the ground. So remember what Adam was made of? He was made from what? No, what? what? No, dirt. The dirt. From where? The ground. The ground. So he said Judah is black. So guess what? 
Now that Adam is black, so is Judah, so is your tribe. So if somebody asks you what tribe are you from, what are you gonna tell them? Oh, the tribe. Look over here. Remember? What tribe are you gonna tell me from? We just did. The top one, right? You African American, right? So what tribe you got? This is what the world call you, that's what God call you. So these are the tribes. What tribe are you from? No, over here. You from the tribe of Judah. That's right. And guess who else is from the tribe of Judah? I'm a, God is. Jesus Christ. We're going to read it to prove. We're going to go to it. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. We've been told this all our lives through slavery, even before slavery. We've been told that this man is Jesus Christ. This man is named Caesar Borgia. He was a pedophile. He raped his own sister. He, um, he killed his brother so he could become Pope. And he was a homosexual. He's the one who used to have sex with Leonardo da Vinci. So wait, we worshiping the damn devil. Right. The white people gave us the devil to worship. But we should be worshiping the father in this man's name right here. You, you see the sign over there, sis? Now we're not saying this is exactly what Christ looked like. But this is the closest depiction that we could get of Christ. So guess what? Be proud of your skin color. Be proud of how you look. Right. You look just like Christ. When God said, I created man in my image, he created us. And he, called, he created the man in his image, and then he created you in his image, right there. And then everybody came by. We don't care about them. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example.